Confusion reigns in Washington tonight over an effort to save the subsidies in Obamacare. Two senators, Republican Lamar Alexander and Democrat Patty Murray, had announced an agreement. Then the president entered the fray. Lisa Desjardins has the story. From President Trump and the White House, multiple statements in 24 hours left heads spinning on exactly where he stands on a bipartisan health care fix. First, positive words yesterday afternoon. And uh, they're coming up and they're fairly close to a short-term solution. Then last night at the Conservative Heritage Foundation, a seeming rebuke. While I commend the bipartisan work done by Senators Alexander and Murray, and I do commend it, I continue to believe Congress must find a solution to the Obamacare mess instead of providing bailouts to insurance companies. He echoed the same concern this morning on Twitter. Democratic Minority Leader Chuck Schumer responded on the Senate floor, saying the president's going back on his word and appears confused. The president ought to know what he's talking about when he tweets about bills, because on this one he had no understanding of what it's about. Finally, this afternoon, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said the president is opposed to the deal as it stands now. This is the step, a good step in the right direction, but it's not a full approach and we need something to go a little bit further to get on board. The job of untangling it all fell to Republican Senator Lamar Alexander, trying to craft this deal to stabilize health care markets. He spoke with Mr. Trump this morning. You know, some people think the president know, doesn't know what he's doing around here. I don't think that. He told me that he wanted to encourage me, but that he will review it, as I would expect a president to. Soon after that, the president stressed his main concern. And if something can happen, that's fine, but I won't do anything to enrich the insurance companies. Right so now, would the compromise enrich insurers? Let's look. The billions in continued subsidies here are to cover co-pays and deductibles for lower-income Americans. Insurance companies are meant to be a kind of middleman. Insurers pay the doctor for those poorer individuals' costs. And the government sends insurers the subsidies as a kind of repayment. Without those subsidies, insurers legally still must cover those costs for poor Americans. So to make up the money, they've made it clear they would raise premiums. And some already are. Republican Senate sources say the president is worried that insurers could take advantage of that money flow. But Senator Alexander insists the bill has provisions to police them. So where do the bill's chances stand? The president wants some changes. Schumer says all or most Democrats will vote yes. And Alexander, not one to overstate things, says this. I would predict that for the end of the year, this agreement uh, in one form or another will become law. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Lisa Desjardins. As the confusion played out in Washington, 19 state attorneys general filed suit to continue the health care subsidies under Obamacare. The president announced last week that he'll cut off the payments to insurance companies.